Hey everyone, Ballsy Daddy here. I'm gonna show you a couple products uh, that I've used over the course of time. Uh, this is a wrap that I got from a friend. Uh, it's called the Boba. It is very heavy, stretchy material. Really good, be warm, a lot of material. You see the size of that? This is one of my favorites that I've used and a lot of people know it's a household name. It is the Moby, a lot of material. Um, the one thing that the Moby and the Boba do is they, they stretch four ways and it's cotton. And this is my new favorite one. It's called the Tuck and Bundle. Super lightweight, very breathable, not as much material. And uh, it is a two-way stretch. And they are a modal fabric, which is a high-end fabric. And it's awesome and pretty stylish. So everyone's very intimidated by wraps, right Ben? Yeah, man. So I'm going to show you how to do it really easily. I'm going to show you with the tuck and bundle because it's my favorite. And so what you do is you get the material and whatever wrapper you're using, you just find the little logo of it's Moby or Boba or anything or the tuck and bundle, you find the middle on that. So fold it in half, like so. Put it around your waist, like so. Cross it, flip it up over your shoulders. See, just like that. And with this type of material too, the tuck and bundle, you want to do it a little bit tighter than normal just because it has a little bit of flex in the material. And you can be a little bit like, not like perfect with it just because the material is very forgiving and it's, you can kind of make it your own. You know, you see a lot of these videos and they're very like, oh, they have to be like perfectly separated and they have to have the like crossover like that. Well, with this one, you can kind of just kind of play with the material. You want it to be open material is you just want to kind of give it like little like a little claw like so the baby's gonna be outside so I'm gonna keep it like this this is my little like claw my little oyster pocket. a pocket okay we'll call it a pocket you know it's much easier than an oyster claw or mouth thing anyway you can kind of keep it open like this but make sure you tighten it around the waist so X got an X in the back X in the front Cross it, and right above your hip bone, you're going to bring it around and tie it right on the side there. I don't do it in the front. I like it kind of off to the side, so I have that access material. Now, next up, baby. Bring this down for a second, okay? Can I have this? All right. Say hello to everyone, Snow. Hi, everyone. All right. Because really simple. I'm going to do a, since he doesn't like his legs tucked in right now, I'm just going to have his legs tucked out. But I'll show you how fast this goes. His leg around. Uh-oh. You're going to cooperate for me? <laughs> Bring the material around his back. Tuck his arm in. Snowy. Oh. Bring his other leg into the other one. Cross it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Right now he doesn't like his legs, his legs tucked in, because I could do the alternative to show you the leg tuck in. And then this little part where the patch is, bring this up over his legs. Tuck it under his little bum. And bring it up to the top of his neck. Keep him in nice and secure. Right now it's really hot in Georgia. That's why I kind of have his legs out right now. This is like a nice, easy way just to kind of keep him in there. And he's getting bigger. He doesn't like his leg confined. Snowy! Snowy! He loves to fall asleep this way. And I like to take him, like you saw how quick this is. I like to take him grocery shopping. We'll go out to dinner. And once he's, once he's relaxed, it's really easy. <laughs> but right now, he just doesn't want to be in there, do you? And you can, and what I really like about this material too, is if I want to, I tuck his arms in his arms in with those little cross and I don't know if he's gonna do it but if I bring his head in this material wraps in nicely Vader stop it my other son's talking to people like, Vader hey so you saw how I got his head in there and I, Vader Vader hey, dog park Vader stop it Vader stop it Vader all right, so see how I got his head in here? 
Nice and snug. The thing about having a wrap and putting a baby in a wrap too, kind of like, radar! That kind of, radar! Gosh. Radar, shush! Kids are acting up, and now he's super content. Just chilling. Yes, I can eat. I can do whatever. I can walk around. I can spin. I really like about this wrap it does have that really nice flexibility where, and it kind of molds around his head. So, that exhausted me. But the big thing is why the benefits of wearing your baby are, um, it's all about attachment and connection with your baby. And so from out of the womb, because they've been attached to the mother uh, for so long, if you're just sticking a baby in a stroller or a car seat or anything like that, I mean, they're obviously gonna be scared. How about listening to your baby? And that's one thing I've been learning a lot and I'm still learning and they don't cry as much. You put him in the wrap in the initial process, he's kind of like, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? And then once he's in, he's, he's super chill and he's in tune with me, he feels my heartbeat and he feels safe. I bet it just allows him to kind of take everything in, he feels comfortable. It establishes a great connection, you know, because really men actually have the opportunity to wear the baby a lot sooner, which I did. And women's stomach muscles after the pregnancy are really like worn down and they need to recover after that, you know, experience. So that's an opportunity for dad to really, you know, get some bonding time in. And so wearing your baby too, going out anywhere, it's such a pain in the butt dragging a big stroller, you know, or having a car seat or anything like this. You just walk in the restaurant like, like so. Super easy. People don't give you dirty looks as much because you're wearing your baby. They're not like moving their chairs and stuff like that. So thanks for watching my, my wrap wearing uh, video. Um, you know, there are different ways to wear your baby. I'll probably do some videos of that. You know, I am a new dad. You know, Snowy is only four months and I'm learning as I'm going. And, uh, but I'm just trying to do it as natural as possible. And I'm just, you know, I want to educate a bunch of dads that a lot of this stuff is, is easy and it's, it's really fun. And people look at me funny because I'm wearing a baby because it's just, it's not very common. And I really want to to me and go, oh my God, you're wearing a baby? I couldn't figure it out. Guess what? Go to YouTube. It's really easy to just like, that's how I learned, you know? When you get this big piece of material, you're like, oh my God, what do I do with this material? But it's just practice makes perfect. And you can just do it basically with my eyes closed. And I wouldn't have it because I can just literally take them out. So if he's done, I'm just like, all right, let's get you out. Let's get you out. So instead of a stroller, I just take this all. I go, whoop, whoop. Oh my God. I'm making this look a little bit more difficult than it is. And then that's it. Just bunch it up. I can even stuff it in my back pocket. And we're off. So thanks for watching my video, everyone. It's the Ballsy Daddy. Bye everyone.